Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guide tutorial. Today we're talking about Corel Draw and we are going to be fitting text to a path. What this means simply is that it will allow us to connect text that we have to some form of shape. In this case we've got a wavy line, could be a circle or a number of things. I mean, what is a path anyway? Well, we think of things uh, a little bit differently as people versus the computer. Uh, we may look at this and say it's a line, it's a wavy line. If we're familiar with some of the Corel terminology or other vector program terminology, we would say it's a curve. You've probably heard that term in some of the videos. Um, the computer keeps track of all of the pixels. It knows the relationship of every single one, where we just see a black line going from left to right, right to left, or a circle. The computer has what it considers to be the end point, the beginning point, and every point in between. Uh, because of that relationship, we can do some pretty neat effects. Uh, just as long as we understand the terminology, uh, it'll help us find the right tools in Corel as well as other software we might use. So for something like this, and this is just a simple example, I'm going to come up here to a uh, create a two-point line. And I'm going to convert this thing. Um, whoops, go up here. I missed it again. Shape tool, there we go. I'm going to convert to curve. You can also do control Q on the keyboard. And this will allow me to tweak it, shape it, you know, do what I want to. You can add endpoints, you can, you know, get in here and get as creative as you want. I'm just going to kind of throw something together just so we can see um, a bit of an example uh, when it comes to what we're trying to do here. So that's not too bad. I don't need to worry about its thickness, its color, or any of that. All I want is to be able to have some text kind of flowing along it um, so that I can then you know, have a neat effect in a design that I'm working on. So I'm just going to come over here and type out my text. And I can simply right click and drag this over my path, my shape here, changes the cursor, release and then you can choose fix text to path. Those of you who remember my uh, video on power clipping, uh, if you know this was a shape that you could clip into, you have that option as well. Uh, by hitting this, it simply takes that and will trace it along the path that it's going on. And uh, you, you can see here that now I've got it curving down along, up and around. Now, depending on the length of the shape, the font you're using, the length of the text you have, you know, whether it's one word, if it's a sentence, if it's, you know, you're trying to get a whole clause, a big paragraph in there. I had one client who we kind of did a, a round around kind of a thing, and so they had quite a bit they were trying to say. Um, you can obviously choose the font size you want, and you can also do some things to the uh, font to stretch it out. You'll notice this one appears a little bit stretched out. Um, I use the shape tool on that, and I'll have a tutorial up on how to do a lot of that stuff as well. Um, but I will show you this one effect here. You'll notice here, we've got this little, it's easier to see here. See this red right here? This gives me uh, essentially a grabber, which will allow me to slide this text along the path and move it up or down based on what it is I'm trying to achieve. So it gives me a bit of an opportunity. You'll notice here that it's kind of wrapping. You'll notice the texture at the end is dying off. See this? Well, this is because in this instance, this path that we're working with, the computer says it ends here. And that was, again, based on the, the object that I, I'm using, um, it might end. Some objects, it'll actually wrap around and, and travel underneath. But again, it just depends upon what you're using in terms of how the computer is viewing it. Does it have a beginning and end, or is it something that has you know, the ability, more of a, uh, another effect where you can kind of move around to the other side of it. And let me show you another thing that you're going to want to know. Um, when you have something like this, even if you've stretched this off, currently these two are connected. And I am essentially stuck with this line um, down here. If you want to have the text by itself, you know, if, if this effect is what you want, then you're, you're great, you're gold. But if you want to have the text by itself like it is up here, you need to essentially break these two things apart. That's as simple as going up to Arrange, Break Text Apart, and you'll notice in the Object Manager here on the right that it is two separate entities now. They're not connected. And now if I move that 
and then I can take my line and I can delete it. So now I've got my, you know, cool curvy text that I can put, you know, over a hillside in the background or whatever. I'll show you another really quick example. This is a pretty common thing that you get asked for. Um, I'm going to create a circle here and I can hold my control key down which keeps it a perfect circle which is nice. Just set that up. I've got the same I just typed out this is uh, obviously a little sentence here. Uh, I can again I can right click and drag just like we did before till the cursor changes. The other option is that you can click on the text you can click on the objects now they're both selected object manager you can see both are selected here and then you can go text and fit text to path right here in the middle and it will do the same thing um, you'll notice here that it has chosen this to be the start point and has dragged the text around I uh, just like before I can take this and move this around so if I want to do a different effect with the the text um, you know I, I can do that inside outside you know you'll see those crests like for colleges and stuff um, going around a coin you know maybe around the outside of a logo you know a shield any kind of a shape like that you can easily do that the other effect I'll show you here just because this is a circle um, I'll cover more of these in another tutorial but if you have your text selected here and you pick the shape tool you're given the uh, handles which allow you to adjust the distance between the letters um, and you can actually individually change letters around we don't want to do that today again we'll, we'll cover that more but um, as goofy as this might look this one here on the right side is the distance between letters so if I click and drag this off to the right it starts to space things out and I can do that until I get you know the thing completely covering the circle um, you know whatever the effect is I'm trying to go for you can also do that ahead of time if you wanted to type the text out and change the uh, uh, the kerning and spread things out you know artistically uh, and then apply it to the circle obviously the benefit of doing it when it's on the circle is then you know exactly how much it is you need to do again we'll cover a lot more of those text effects in another video thanks again for watching this your business card guy video tutorial uh, today we learned about fitting text to path to create some very cool effects. Learn more about us online at www.yourbusinesscardguy.com.